What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Uh, <clears throat> got another banger for you guys. So, uh, listen, before we go any further, I'm about to drop some gems for you guys, like always. So, uh, smash that like button. Go ahead, man. Just, just, smack, just smash the like button. It doesn't take nothing out, out of you. It's free. You get free information. And then also uh, hit the subscribe button, too. And share this video, too. We're going to do all that in this video. Because this video is about making money. Today is a finance video. You see the whiteboard, right? And the whiteboard already got a specific number on there. The whiteboard got $100,000. And $100,000, that's what this video is all about. It's all about how can I make that first $100,000. Now, that's a lot of money. You know, that's a lot of money for anybody. I mean, even a rich guy, $100,000 is 10% of his million. So, you know what I mean? Like, $100,000 is a lot of money. We're going to talk about how you can get to that $100,000 and what kind of leverage and what kind of access you got once you get to that hundred thousand but before that hundred thousand you gotta start small right you gotta start with your first one hundred dollars some of you guys may have made a hundred dollars at some point in life some of you guys may not not everybody know how to sell things. Not everybody know how to close a deal. So some of you guys, maybe you just go to work. And you know, if you go to work, that's cool. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with a nine to five or whatever. But we're talking about actually making a hundred dollars out of nothing. How do you make your first hundred dollars? Now, to make your first hundred dollars, there's a lot of little simple things that you could do or whatever. I mean, doesn't take much to make a hundred bucks like you can do you could go you know do some retail arbitrage you can you know I don't know sell Girl Scout cookies whatever I just bought Girl Scout cookies from a friend or whatever you know just to support those little scouts but anyway you make your first hundred dollars you know there's levels to this just like everything else in life now after you make your first hundred dollars the next goal is to make your first thousand dollars now that's a bigger step because whatever you did to make that first hundred now you got to do it ten times in order to make that thousand now at the end of this video stick around I'm gonna show you very very quick easy simple way that you can make between a hundred and a thousand today so listen, like I said, if you haven't liked to subscribe to this yet, like, subscribe, stick around. I'm gonna show you, you know, something real simple how to get between a hundred and a thousand dollars. So now, the reason why there's levels to this because with levels to anything in life, it builds discipline. And with discipline, it enables you to go higher, climb higher, higher, and higher. And whatever tier, whatever niche, whatever ladder that you're trying to climb, you know within your life right now we're obviously talking about how to get to a hundred thousand dollars so I'll give you a little backstory on myself I saw my first hundred thousands when I was in my early 20s and I was young dumb like many young dumb you know uh, 20 year olds these days man actually I wasn't dumb I did do things to build on it I just didn't invest it the way that I should have invested it today you know, and made way more. I would have way more money, way more everything if I did the, what I do, what I know now. So, fast forward, you know, several years or whatever, finally saw the second 100,000 in my life. And I'm like, wow, this is a lot of money, you know. What should I do? That's when I got into investing, you know. I got into real estate, I got into cars, I got into, you know, different kind of investments, you know, stocks, everything, you know. Some of you know me, some of you don't. If you know me, you know some of these things that I've gotten into, or whatever the case might be. But, <clears throat> enough about that. After 
after you have gotten to your first thousand dollars, you kind of learned the steps to get from a hundred to a thousand. Now the next goal that you need to set for yourself is how to get to ten thousand dollars. Now the reason why I keep on putting up increments and levels is because you can't get to one without the other. The first one, the first 100 builds a plan for the thousand, the thousand builds a plan for the 10,000. You need a plan, you need a roadmap. Some of you guys are older, some of you guys are not. For the older guys, you remember MapQuest. We used to get on the computer, Google, Yahoo, and uh, type out our, I mean, we used to, you know, map out our directions and print them. You'd have like four or five pages if you're going cross, cross country, you know. That was mapping out a goal. Now, you guys have to do the same thing, map out a goal. The same way like nowadays, you would get on your phone and you would actually, you know, you'd punch in the address and your GPS on your, you know, cellular phone will take you to wherever you need to go. It maps out a direction for you so you don't make wrong turns and waste time. I am mapping out how you get to $100,000. So now, after the $10,000, your next goal is now $50,000. Now $50,000 is a lot of money, you know what I mean? Half of America do not have $50,000. Three quarters of America don't have $50,000. Because everybody normally lives paycheck to paycheck. I mean, that's just the way that the system is set up for everyone to live, you know? But you have to break that cycle. Now. $50,000, how do I get to $50,000? Obviously, you gotta save. You gotta save, you gotta learn how to save. You gotta learn how to not spend. You know what I mean? How do we get to the first 100, the 1,000, the 10,000, the 50,000? The whole roadmap is you gotta save. You have to put away. You have to work, obviously, clearly, we all gotta work, but uh, if you actually put away a nice percentage of whatever you get paid, instead of, you know, splurging, buying this, buying that, all these unnecessary things, think about it. Most of you might eat out or whatever. You might, you know, like to sit at a restaurant with a friend, with a spouse, you know, with a potential girlfriend, boyfriend. When you go out to that restaurant, some of you may drink, some of you may not. You're gonna spend on average nowadays about $150. Now think about that. You spend $150 to sit in a restaurant and eat. Now imagine you did that four times for the month. That's 150 times four. You guys know simple math. What's that? $600. So $600 if you did that four times in one month. Now imagine you did that, I don't know, let's just say you did it 10 times. You did it 10, uh, for 10 months. For 10 months out of 12 months, you went to a restaurant at least four times in the month. That's 10 times 600, right? So that's the easy math, that's $6,000. So you spent $6,000 on eating out. Now you never get that $6,000 back. So that was a negative investment, right? So because you'll never get that $6,000 back, you have to reconsider eating out. Should I eat out as much? Of course you should eat out once in a while, you know. Treat yourself, we all work hard. But can I cut back? Imagine you cut back half of that That'd be $3,000 that you would have just saved yourself. You see, a lot of times people don't think about the big picture. You know what I mean? Everyone just think, oh no, I'm just gonna spend 150 this week. I'm just gonna spend 150 next week. I'm only gonna spend 150 in January, in February, in March. You don't think about the big picture. You see what I'm saying? If you think about the big picture, then you'll know how to break it down and then save towards these goals of 100, 1,000, 10,000, and then 50,000.
Now, we still haven't reached 100,000. Well, once you get these principles of cutting back on certain things you don't need and investing into other things that you do need, those principles are what's going to get you to all these goals. And once you get to the 50,000 mark, in your mind, there's a mental game that's played. It looks good. You're like, damn, I got $50,000. I got more money than half of the United States of America have in their account. I have it. So that mental mind game and the fact that you took levels to get there is gonna make that 50 generate to 100,000 in a shorter period of time. Now, I want you to think about something. <clears throat> why, is, why is it easier to get $100, to save 100, save 1,000, but it's not as easy to save, let's just say, 20,000, 50,000 is definitely not that easy to get to that 100,000. Why? The reason is because most of us, when we see a substantial amount of money in our accounts, or when we have a substantial money in our hands, we tend to lose focus. And when you lose focus, then you start to spend on things that are not necessary, that you don't need that money starts to burn a hole in your pocket. And when that money starts to burn a hole in your pocket, my mama used to always say, the devil find works for idlers. So if the money's just idling, eh, the devil's gonna find something for you to spend it on. You know, something that you don't necessarily need. Now I know mainly we do car stuff here, so you know, all you car guys that might be watching this video, you might be like, well, I could get a new turbo, I could get a new supercharger, you know, I could get a new car with that kind of money. But imagine if you actually held back for let's just say a year or two years and you reinvested that money in other things that we'll talk about in the future. Imagine you did that. You'd have two, three, four times the amount of money and still be able to do what you were able to do before. It's all a mental mind game, guys. Like, it's not really rocket science, to be honest with you. So now, Think about this. Let's just say uh, you make an investment. Today's investments, the normal return on any investment is 10%. So you got $10,000 saved up. Right? You, you cut back, you save $10,000. Now, you invested that $10,000 and I don't know, let's just say six months, seven months go by you invested at 10,000 and now you earn 10% on your return. Well, you know what, no. Let's do it in increments of 12. 12 months, because normally, you know, your 10% might come back within 10 months. I mean, 12 months, excuse me. So 12 months, you invested your $10,000 that you saved so long. What's 10% of $10,000? 10% is only $1,000. So you got 10% back on your $10,000, which is $1,000. Now that's a big growth because remember, it took you, you know, a little while to save the first hundred and then it took you a little while longer to save the first thousand. But then you were disciplined enough, you saved up $10,000 you got 10% on your return. So now you got a free $1,000. So now 12 months later, you now got $11,000. And then there's something called compound interest. We'll talk about compound interest in another video. But once you understand how compound interest work, this money will just continue to grow. Now that's great. That's awesome, right? I know, it's totally cool. It works really well. So just think about this. Imagine you took the lessons, you, you really understand what's going on here, you started saving, you started cutting back, and uh, you reached that $100,000. Look at the magic that $100,000 do for you. Let's just say you made a minimum 10% on your money. So you made 10%, 10% of 
percent on your hundred thousand dollars. So you just made ten thousand dollars. You made ten thousand dollars in one year because we're using twelve months increments. You made ten thousand dollars. Because you saved a hundred thousand, you made it to that hundred thousand dollar mark. This is why the rich get richer, and the rich will continue to get richer because of compound interest and the fact that they have more money to invest. But you can get here. You can get to that hundred thousand dollars with discipline. You can get to that hundred thousand dollars with taking in lessons. You can get to that hundred thousand dollars by listening to me. Or a hundred other thousand gurus out there that knows and understand this stuff. Now, if you're making ten thousand dollars and you did nothing at all for twelve months, you did nothing. All you did was twiddle your fingers, and your money that you invested in multiple different types of investments, of which we'll talk about in the future, you made ten thousand dollars. So now, the following year, you now got one hundred and ten thousand dollars. To reinvest, and you made the minimum of ten percent. Now, that—that's a goal, because this ten thousand dollars you made, most people put in maybe twenty, thirty, that thirty hours a week, just to make this kind of money in, you know, half a year. You know, most minimum wage uh, personnel's and you know some fast food restaurants. They don't always get 40 hours a week, you know. At the end of 12 months in a year, going back and forth to that, you know, minimum wage job, they might see 15 grand if they're lucky. You just made 10 grand, and you did absolutely nothing for 12 months. You see, so getting to that hundred thousand dollars is really important, you know. And there's different ways to get there, and I do mentor. I do one-to-one -one mentoring,、uh, you know, for certain individuals on my spare time, and you know how they could achieve, you know, the one thousand, the、uh, the one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, fifty thousand, then get to a hundred thousand. Now I'm about to wrap this video up, and I did tell you guys, towards the end of this video, I'm gonna let you know how you can easily make. 100 between 100 to 1,000 dollars today. Today, simple. Now, a little backstory.、Uh, my son, he he、uh, he wanted an iPhone for Christmas, and、um, you know, great kid. He didn't want to. He didn't want us to purchase, you know, thousand plus dollar iPhone. He just wanted like an iPhone 10 or 11. So. Picked him up an iPhone 10, and、uh, picked it up for 250 bucks. I bought it on eBay for 250, and、uh, you know when we went to get it to, to give it to him, he he loved it. He was very happy. But the problem was that we're an Android family, and he didn't. We couldn't monitor the phone the same, so we end up. I ended up buying him an Android phone,、uh, one of the newer、uh, Android phones, and selling the iPhone back. I tell you that little backstory because when I went to sell the iPhone, I put it on、uh, Marketplace, I put it back up on eBay, I also put it on Craigslist. Now the scammers out there are ridiculous; they're annoying. But anyway, the point is, I put it up, and I put it up for three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Remember, I paid two fifty for it. I put it up for three hundred and twenty-five dollars. I had literally probably two dozen people, three dozen people, within the first twenty-four, forty-eight hours, begging me for the phone. And then the phone actually sold on eBay for three hundred and forty dollars. Now that's insane, right? I just paid two fifty for it, but then it sold for three forty. The point is, how could you make between a hundred and one thousand dollars to get on track 
to get to your first hundred thousand dollars within the next year, two, three years, you're probably looking at me on the, you're probably watching this video on your iPhone 11, iPhone 13, or maybe your new Android device that maybe you, you're financing, maybe you paid outright. I never understood the whole financing thing of a cell phone. So, you know, forgive me, I'm thinking maybe you own the phone. I've always bought a phone outright, it's a cell phone. There's no reason you should be financing a cell phone, first of all. Anyway, let's just say you own that phone outright. You're looking at me on this phone, and the phone, let's say you have an iPhone 11, it does the same thing that the iPhone 12 did. It does the same thing that the iPhone 11, the iPhone 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. They all do the same damn thing. You're looking at me on a phone that costs a thousand dollars, and maybe you have a thousand dollars in your account. Maybe you don't. I don't know. All I'm saying is, you can downgrade that phone because it doesn't do anything special. I don't care what they sell you. The phone doesn't do anything special because all you do, you scroll on Instagram, Facebook. You make phone calls and you send text messages, most of you, 90% of you phone users, that's what you do with a phone. Guess what? $1,000 phone and the $250 phone, they do the same thing. You see? My point is, you got to learn to scale back until you can scale up. So scale back on those things. Put that phone up for sale. You don't need it. <laughs> You don't need it. Put it up for sale, sell it. Boom, you're on track. Now you got your first couple hundred dollars saved. Now you'll, you know, we'll talk about future investments and other things that you can do to now turn that money that you just made, which is profit, you could turn it into, you know, 1,100, 1,200, maybe $2,000. Alright guys, so uh, that's all I got for you on this one today. There will be much more in the future to follow. Before I go, I want to give out a shout out to Gas ATL, German Auto Syndicate, cool car, uh, car club out here in uh, ATL. I'm not a part of the club. I like the crew, you know, so let's kind of represent them real quick with this hat. But uh, yeah guys, listen, stay tuned. There'll be more. There'll be much, much, much more. Or whatever, you know, on finance, on cars, on all the fun stuff. But anyway, until next time, guys. Peace.